There's heroes in our life for sure At the right time in your life Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Destiny Love and I'm back in the cut with another video. So today's video that I'll be doing, as you already know by the title of this video, I'll be making a Jamaican pastry. It is called the Gizada. And I'm going to show you the basic steps that I go about making this Gizada and the ingredients that I use for this Gizada. So before I get started with this video don't forget to smash those like buttons comment down below and subscribe share with your friends your family and everybody to all my new subscribers thank you so much for and to all my old subscribers thank you so much for supporting this is your girl destiny love let's get straight into the video okay guys so these are the ingredients i'm going to be I'm um, using for this gazada. Um, I'm going to need a pot to knead the flour. I'm going to need um, coconut flakes, a butter to put with the flour, a cup of water, my egg, egg, no, egg my nutmeg, correction, ground cinnamon, vanilla, flour, sugar. And salt. You're gonna need a tray to put the gizada on. You're gonna need a roller. I just put this to roll the flour on to make for the dough of the gizada. So these are all the things that I'm gonna need. So there you have the pan, the everything. Those are everything that I'm gonna need. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. This is not the real kind of coconut flakes that I want. I wish I could get the dry coconut that I grate myself that has more juice and more flavor, but they don't have it. Unfortunately, I cannot get it here and that's really hard to get. So I'm just working with this sweet and fancy flakes that they, they have. So yeah, let's see how this turns out. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process okay guys so now i'm gonna put the flour i'm gonna add the flour just a small amount of flour you don't need a lot of flour no before i add the flour i'm gonna do the coconut flakes first so i'm gonna need another dish for that so i'm gonna get the flakes ready So I'm going to add all the flakes, coconut flakes in here. That's a whole lot. I'm gonna, there, I have the coconut flakes. I'm going to add some of my vanilla. I'm not measuring anything because I just used the my that i know the estimated amount that i need so i'm not really going to measure i'm just going to pour some of the vanilla on the flakes the vanilla is what's going to give it the brown look i'm going to put this away because i'm finished with it then i'm going to use a little bit of a ground cinnamon powder I'm going to add a little bit of salt you know you have to use the salt to give things taste no matter what you're doing you still have to use salt to give things taste I'm still going to use the salt so I'm going to leave it right there then I'm going to get one of these nutmeg. And I'm going to grate the nutmeg on all these things that I have here. Oops. 
it's gonna take a lot of time. I didn't get the nutmeg powder, so I have to blend it in this one. Okay, so I'm finished gr grittering the nutmeg on the coconut flakes. So I'm going to mix it together and then I'm going to add some sugar to it. So I'm now mixing it together, guys. And then after mixing it together, I'm going to add my sugar. Now I'm adding the sugar. I add the sugar to taste so if it's not sweet or it doesn't taste as how I want it to taste I might add a little, little bit more sugar like I'm adding a little bit more vanilla and a little bit more ground cinnamon powder. So guys I'm just going to mix all these ingredients together And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just mixing them together as you guys can see. That I'm going to taste it again in case it needs any more sugar or any more vanilla or nutmeg. Oh my god, I can never say that word right. This is how it looks. Yeah. There you have it. I'm just going to put that to marinate for a little while then I'm gonna go ahead and do the flour for the crust I'm just adding my flour after adding my flour I'm gonna add my salt just a little bit of salt. I'm not using measuring spoon or anything, so I'm not going to use too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of sugar. Guys, do not do this at home with the sugar because you might just throw, pour out the old sugar in the con in the container or in the cover. I do have measuring stuff, but I'm just lazy sometimes. Yeah. Now I'm going to be adding the butter. I'm going to add all of this butter because... You don't want your crust to be dry and hard. So you're, I'm going to add the butter in order for it to my crust to be moist. And you don't want your butter to be frozen or anything. You want your butter to be soft. There you have it. Now I'm going to mix all of this together. And I'm going to knead it into a dough. Just like when you're kneading flour, Americans might not know about this, but most Jamaicans know about this, kneading flour. So I'm going to knead all of this together. That's what I'm doing now. I'm kneading it. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I By adding the water, I'm not going to pour a lot of water because it already have the butter and the butter already makes it soft. So you don't want to use a lot of butter, a lot of water at once. You just want to take Take your little time and keep adding the water little by little so that the flour doesn't get spoiled. Because remember the butter is in it already and it does keep it moist so you don't want to add too much water for it to be spoiled. So I'm just going to keep kneading this together until I get it into a dough. So there you have it. I get the dough. I'm now going to roll them. I have to speed this up a little because the video is too long so I speed it up a little so you guys can see. I'm sorry I didn't get the chance to do this step by step as in showing you guys what to do but basically I'll just explain what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing here is I get made the flour into a dough then I put it in plastic wrap and leave into the refrigerator to sit for a little while and then I take it out after it's chilled and it's well made into a dough so what you're gonna do from that big dough you're gonna continue to take, to take small pieces like I'm doing here and you're gonna roll them flat as possible as you can then you're gonna put your index finger to 
like to the end of the flower around and you're going to use your next hand to pinch around the corner of the the dough as you see i'm doing now i'm going to be adding the fillings into that dough that i've just made so i'm just stirring that for a little while because it was there marinating for a little while so it's ready to be put into the dough so that's the coconut filling i'm just going to be adding the fillings into the dough to fill the amount of space that's there and guys you don't want your coconut to be too dry so you have to make sure you have a lot of spice in it so it's not too dry because if it's too dry then your gizada is going to be dry so what i'm doing now i'm just putting that filling the dough with the coconut flakes and then i think i already set my oven so what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your oven for 350 you're gonna set your oven on 350 and then when you set it on 350 you're gonna leave it to bake for 30 minutes after that 30 minutes then you can take it out leave it to cool and then it's ready to eat so I'm gonna go back to fill in my crust or my dough whatever you guys call it that's the outside part of the gizada so you want to make sure you put it as much coconut flakes into the crust or the dough to fill all the empty spaces that's in the middle and then after filling it up you're gonna put it in your oven after your oven has is been preheated and ready to start baking. So I'm just taking my time here guys to um fill put the filling into the crust of the gizada. I'm sorry guys if my voice over is a little bit off. I not used to doing the voice over and I'm not really good at it, so I'm just getting the grip of the old voice over thing. So yeah, just bear with me. So now that I'm finished adding all the flea all the flakes into the crust of the gizara now that I'm finished filling all of them I'm just gonna put those into the oven for them to bake and then I'm gonna leave them there for 30 minutes and then I go check back on them and take them out then leave them to cool and then it's ready to eat guys so you guys can enjoy that's how it looks before it goes in the oven so you guys can have a look that looks yummy right and it's not baked as yet as the mood say who beg na get who no beg no want so this is after the oven this is after i take them out from the oven this is how they look when they're finished you realize how brown it is because of the vanilla and the cinnamon powder that what that's what gives it that brown look so it's not burnt or anything look you can see have a look at the crust you can see there it's not burnt or anything it's just that the vanilla and the the cinnamon powder gives it that brown look and that's the color you want your gizada to be because if it's still white that means it's not finished baking as yet 
and for that brown part that you see on the paper the wax the wax paper it's just the spice that maybe it ran over so it just spill on the girl now I'm taking a bite of the gizada and y'all I wish you guys could taste it oh my god it's so good I wish you guys could just taste it it's really good it's so good you can see I'm enjoying it It's perfect. Oh, what I was basically saying there, I was just ending the video. I don't know what happened to the sound. I guess I turned it off because I decided that I want to do a voiceover. Because I don't know why my phone wasn't cooperating. But yeah, I was just closing out the video saying thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I love you guys so much and thank you for the support. Peace. I'm out.